Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the second week of September or whenever you are viewing this video because time is fluid, it never stands still. So whenever you're watching it and the overall message as I'm guided to share this with you, justice prevails. Something's coming through where justice is going to come into your life and it's going to be very, very good, very positive energy on this side. We're going to look at the other side, whoever, whatever you are dealing with. And this is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn. If you find this is romance, then look at your Venus sign as well. Okay. So we're starting off the beginning of the week. We'll look at the middle of the week and then we will move into the end of the week and an overall message for the week in its entirety. This beautiful Four of Wands is talking about relationships. That's the relationship card. And we have the Four of Cups. So there is something really beautiful going on when it comes to your family and the grounding and building this unit underneath um, um, a place where you feel safe. I feel some of you might be looking at and uh, not necessarily doing it, but looking at relocating and trying to bring your dream in and asking for help. Show me where I'm supposed to go. Show me where I am supposed to put my feet, okay? Where am I going to live is what I'm hearing. Pay very close attention. You're going to see synchronicities and one of them will be four, 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 four. You're going to see fours everywhere. That's your number for the week, which is beautiful. That's talking about seeing something handed down to you. The the spiritual world is going to help you find your new location. It's going to help you ground your family. But these this is very positive energy right here. You could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit bratty that didn't take action or feeling a little bit like mm, you didn't take action or you, you know, you're waiting. You gave up opportunities. It didn't feel right. Whatever is going on in you, you're going to see something come in this week. So let's take a look. And that's what you're hoping for in the beginning of the week. Whoever you're dealing with, they have the world card and we have the Ten of Cups. So that's what I'm talking about. This is a family type situation. The Ten of Cups is, is an, a happy home, happy family life. That's what you want. You want a wheel of fortune to kick in and this is your destiny kicking in where I feel you're going to get an opportunity that's going to show you how to create a more stable home environment. For some of you, this could very well be training. This might be teaching, learning, going to some type of counseling. That's going to help you create a new cycle in your home environment. Whatever it is, very positive energy is coming through today. Whoever was stagnant and, and not focused on the offers of love and not focused on trying to fix, repair, heal, whatever it was, start this new movement. They're going to see that beautiful sign. Look for the signs. They are all around you. Now, we're going to see uh, what is going on midweek. We've got the Seven of Pentacles, and this one is the Hangman. So, both of these cards are saying midweek, it's important for you to really take a look at your finances, look at your situation, look at how much time you've devoted to your career, to your job, to your project, to your family itself. And some of you might be making a decision that you'd rather start a new beginning and, and create a better environment. You may have recently made a decision, do I leave where I'm at right now and accept a new opportunity, hoping this new opportunity comes in and it definitely is going to come in by in that first week. So this is a choice that you're going to make. How much have you devoted already and what have you gotten back? And looking from every angle, don't just stand there and look from the front side and the back side. You got to look from upside down, on top, sideways, diagonal. You have to look in every direction to understand because every single person lives in their own reality. There are not that many people, although we are growing, that's the collective consciousness where we are growing and we see the truth, the real truth around us. And we have to wait for other people to jump up into that zone. Whoever this is, is jumping into that zone. So you're getting ready to meet uh, a situation where it will be parallel to your reality. It'll be parallel to whatever you're thinking, whatever you're doing. 
Now, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and that's that low vibrating energy. So around midweek, this particular side over here is going to say, yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And they're not feeling very grounded. They may be looking at the home situation, this offer, in a very different way than you are. Pay close attention, because if they are stuck in a low vibration, even though they want this amazing new beginning, they're going through this, this beautiful cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is the cycle of life, a 360. We go from love to hate, to love to hate, to love to hate. We go from positive to negative, and we go from good to bad. It just goes in a circle, and we have to master the difference to get this. And they are going to do it, but you have to pay very close attention on who you are investing your time with right now. Remember, in the beginning of the week, you're sitting underneath that tree, looking up, waiting. Give me the sign. Give me the sign. Is this the right person for me? And it could be yes for some of you and others. It's going to be determined through all of you based on what you are doing here. This particular side may have a lot of money, okay? So if this is a job, they have a lot of money they're going to offer you. If this is a person, they have a lot of security around them. They feel safe and grounded. But yeah, you have to make sure it feels right for you, okay? If they were bratty in the past, <clears throat> a family member that didn't really give to you, a person around you who didn't give to you, you have to really analyze on how much they give to you now. Now, here's that beautiful Queen of Swords where that justice is getting ready to come in, and this is toward the end of the week. So the Queen of Swords cuts out anything and anyone that causes them harm, that can take them backwards, like this particular energy right here. The judgment, this is one last opportunity to look at this offer, look at the situation for the truth that it is, because the queen always sees the truth. This is a true leader in you being able to see beyond what's in front of you and looking for that cup above from a positive aspect, not from being bratty and stuck and stubborn, okay? Where you can see everything harmonically coming into balance and literally analyzing, looking from all angles because the queen can see every single angle there is because that's how they're able to sever the ties. That's how they can cut through those energetic cords. That's how they can disconnect from people so well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy most definitely. And I feel Taurus is in this reading. Pisces is in this reading. Cancer is in this reading. Aries is in this reading. Okay. I feel those vibrations very, very strong in this reading. Judgment, making a final decision. Do you sever ties with this side? Do you take that offer? Do you accept their apology? Do you want to start a new beginning with this particular side? Are they part of your foundation? Are they part of your future? Is this the home that you want? There's legal documents attached to this. So those of you who want to buy a home, make sure you are analyzing it and looking at that documentation, whatever documents you're looking at, look at the documentation from every angle. Mercury is in retrograde. Or it will be this, it, it is during this reading. So <clears throat> depending on when you look at this reading, that's what Mercury in retrograde does. It brings back the past so that we have one more chance to either fix it, repair it, or let it go. It's up to us, whatever we do, but there is something coming into your life that's going to really cause you to embrace the leader in yourself, being a family leader, being a leader of your own home, of your own life. So make sure you're looking at all documentations, all offers, and seeing beyond what is right in front of you, okay? Read the fine print. That's what that means. So this beautiful judgment card, you know, this is an opportunity to fix, repair, and I do have a couple other zodiac signs who are going through this type of situation, Capricorn. So whoever you're dealing with on this side, they went through a lot, but now they're doing really well, or they will be toward the middle, the end of the, you know, the... <laughs> If we divide the week into beginning, middle, and end, this is rolling into the end of the week. They're doing much better. They've come into a place of feeling more secure than they probably ever did before. And in the end of the week, 
they most definitely have made huge breakthroughs. So what you saw in the beginning of the week may have been based on memories of the past. It may have been based on things that were already done. Remember, justice prevails in this situation. So this is somebody coming in, giving a huge offer and saying, oh my gosh, I got my inner child back. I'm in alignment. I'm ready to receive. And they are literally receiving from the spiritual aspect of life. So when the universe works in harmony with us, we gain, okay, when we're in our life and soul purpose, we actually start gaining things and we can manifest, we understand how to get in and out of the zone. Like I do these readings, I go into a zone, boom, I hear it and then I disconnect. And that's why I don't remember a lot of people's past. I don't want to, it's not my burden. It's it's other people's, right? It's not my life. So I wouldn't want to remember that. But the point is I can disconnect and so can you. This person has learned how to disconnect all of the, the low vibration energy that they've been through. They've been through a lot. Okay, this person had been through a lot. All right. They're starting a brand new cycle where the dark night of the soul they walked is now changing whoever is on this side. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And again, this is air signs over here. But remember, it's whatever the person is that you're dealing with. We also have Libra, Leo energy here. So you guys, this is a, an incredible moment. I feel this week is very significant for your future. Okay, this outcome, the justice, this is the legal system, this is justice, this is leadership, this is saying yes or no, right? This is a person saying, come close to me, okay? I want to hear what you have to say because of what happened in the past. I want to make sure you're telling me the truth before I ever accept your offer. So this is like a, a really a final opportunity. I feel for some of you, this is a family member who's older and um, you may be a little bit younger. I, I, I see an older person and a younger person. So it could very well be a last opportunity to fix and repair. But the energy overall in general, we have the beautiful Queen of Cups and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is what I'm saying. You are coming to a place of completion. You are coming to a place of balance where we need all queens in all sectors. So the only queen we're missing on your side is the queen of wands. So feeling grounded, feeling good, being secure in your own life and learning how to use wellness and spirituality to keep you grounded here on Earth Capricorn, definitely representing you and this beautiful opening up your heart. The Queen of Cups is all about our emotions. This is the divine feminine inside where you may have been an overgiver and overgiven money to this particular individual and they took advantage of you. I feel this is a child, okay? An adult child, no doubt, but it's still a, 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 a part of you. <laughs> it's a piece of you. <laughs> And uh, literally, but this is, this is a person who um, may have taken advantage of you, but see, they've seen the light. They've walked down into their own dirty road and seen the good and bad inside of them. And that seven of pentacles has come out for almost, I think, every reading so far. So there is a lot of deep internal work going on in this particular time frame of the, the month of September. And I feel it's going to go all the way through early October. People are reconciling and that doesn't mean being with them, but it does mean letting your heart open and seeing the truth around you so that you can be in balance. And over here, it's just beautiful, right? I mean, you've just got all this amazing energy, but it definitely connects to your family today and in the future. So, Amazing energy is coming through for the beautiful sign of Capricorn. You may have a few offers and definitely apologies and words of love coming in. And this is a moment for huge growth. Justice prevails in your favor. Have a wonderful week. Much love.